Welcome to another Meeples and Milkshakes Board Game Cafe unboxing video. I'm Jim and we're at the cafe now. It has been renovated. It's uh, almost completely set up. Um, we're not quite ready to reveal it yet in this video, but uh, all the boxes are being delivered here now, so we're going to unbox them here. Uh, the green line you see behind me is the center point for the arc that we're going to have hung on the walls. It goes all the way around this room. And uh, so yeah, the video uh, frames will be centered on that line. And then, then the green line will be removed. It's just painter's tape, nothing special about it. So we have some boxes to unbox today. And uh, we forgot our X-Acto knife, so we're just going to use this cute little blade. Let's get, uh, let's get cracking at it. So first off, we have a restock of Letter Jam, the cooperative word game. Really, really fun game. We were playing this a ton over the Christmas holidays. And it's great at all the player counts from two to six. Uh, I personally enjoy it, you know, even like five players and even at two players. Uh, it's quite an interesting experience playing it at two. You're going to have uh, one card in front of you facing everyone else. And everyone else has one card, card in front of them facing everybody else. So you can't see your own letter. And somebody's going to propose a word that can be spelled with the letters they can see. Hopefully they'll also use your letter somewhere in the middle of, their, of the word that they propose. And then with that, uh, everybody's going to try to guess what letter they have. And collaboratively, you're trying to figure out what all the letters are. And then uh, you'll be guessing some more words. It get, gets a bit more involved in that. Uh, it's quite a thinky uh, cooperative word game. Uh, but I think that's what makes this one really special. And we're happy to have this one back in stock. Next up, we have another restock, Root, a game of Woodland, Might, and Right, game by Cole Werley, art by Kyle Farron. Uh, this is a great asymmetrical uh, area control game, and uh, it's really, really fun. There are four different factions in this box. There's the Marquis de Cat, the Erie Dynasties, the Woodland Alliance, and the Vagabond. And uh, yeah, you, you're trying to gain control over the woodlands and each of the each of the four um, uh, types of uh, characters play completely differently. Uh, there's some general themes of concepts that are shared throughout the game but the, the strategy and the way that these uh, work is, is very different and the uh, game is just fantastic. It is one of the most popular games of the last couple of years. So we've got a couple more copies of that in stock too. Next up we have a special order for uh, someone in town here who wanted Conquest of Paradise by GMT Games. I don't know anything about this particular game, but it looks pretty cool. And so uh, there you go. You'll be able to pick this up tomorrow. If uh, you're the person who ordered it, of course. Next up, we have a whole bunch more sleeves because we have been getting our library ready. And so we didn't order enough the first time. I don't know if you remember from the last unboxing video, but we ordered a boatload of sleeves and now uh, in this shipment there's going to be two boatloads of sleeves for a total of three boatloads of sleeves. Next up so we have, a, uh, actually this is not a restock, this is the first time we have this. We missed the previous uh, shipment of this. Uh, we had opened uh, just too late to get it uh, back in April and uh, so we've waited a long time to get this. We do have Undaunted North Africa but here is the original Undaunted Normandy which uh, has the seal of excellence from Dice Tower and is recommended by Shut Up and Sit Down. There's a fantastic review of this game by Quinns of Shut Up and Sit Down on YouTube, so definitely take a look at this. Um, and uh, if you do watch that video, you'll see why uh, we're so excited to finally have this in stock. I think there's one more copy in another box. We'll see as we, as we go along. Okay, we were running low on point salad, uh, which is a great little uh, filler starter game. A great game to play maybe before or after your, your game night, when, people, when you're waiting for people to come, or afterwards if you finished your big game and you want just a little uh, dessert. Uh, point salad is a really, really fun card game where you're collecting these uh, uh, vegetable cards, which also, um, have on the back side of them, they have different rules of how they score at the end of the game for the ones you've collected. Uh, so you'll want to collect 
a good set of uh, point cards um, and also a good corresponding set of uh, vegetable cards. I think we've, other than Wingspan, we might have sold more copies of this than anything else. Possibly Gloomhaven Jaws of the Line has sold more, but that's how popular this game has been this year. Uh, and it makes sense because it's, it's just so accessible. You can teach this game in like 30, 45 seconds. And uh, that's an awesome thing for a game that's actually a lot of fun. Um, some games that are that easy to teach are kind of meh, but this is not a meh game. This is a really, really fun game. It's definitely worth getting. Uh, so there's um, half a boatload of sleeves in there, which we need for all the games. Yep, just sleeves. So this one is a third of a boatload. So this game was ordered from Game Crafters and it's called Gate. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, so this is Gate. This is a solo play deck building game. A uh, medieval horror game that will have you dying for more. Can you save your town from the perils that lurk outside your gate? So again, it's a one player game for ages 12 and up. Takes 15 to 20 minutes. Comes in this lovely tin box. It's got some cards in there. I think that's it. Maybe it's just the case that's rattling, not too sure. And uh, we also got the play mat. We got two of the play mats. So we're gonna be selling this as a bundle. We might put one copy in the uh, library and then have one copy for sale. But yeah, it's a really nice uh, thick neoprene play mat with the game. So that's Gate by Jason Glover. All right, so we have Two copies of the Update 1.1 expansion for Smartphone Inc. One of these is um, already spoken for for a customer and the other one uh, will be on Meeple.ca. Very nice. I don't know much about this expansion. I, I, do, I did read about it months and months ago when I pre-ordered it, but I don't really remember too much about it. I really like the art in this game though. I think we have one copy of Smartphone Inc. left as well on the website. This is a special order. Uh, the customer has been waiting for quite a while for this to arrive actually. So um, hopefully they're gonna be very excited that this has finally arrived. The Magical Quest game Talisman. This is the dungeon expansion. Some cool minis and other, other parts for Talisman. Requires Talisman to play. We have another um, couple of special orders. These are for Marvel Crisis Protocol. This is MODOK and the Black Panther and Killmonger miniatures for the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures game. So those are some pretty cool minis that are gonna get uh, painted very nicely if I uh, know the person who is getting them, and I do. Looking forward to seeing these. Next up, we did bring in a couple more. These are actually gonna be on meeples.ca, the Black Panther Marvel Crisis uh, Protocol miniature. We also have a Black Panther wall decal. How big is this thing? Let's see what it says. 25 inches by 22 inches. I think we're gonna put this up on the wall at the cafe if we can find a good place for it. And if not, then uh, we'll put it up for sale on meeples.ca. But it looks pretty cool. We'll honor T'Challa. Next up, we have some special orders. Clan Ren, unit expansion for Star Wars. Oh, here we go, Star Wars Legion. Those are really cool. Wow, I like, I like uh, minis like this that are on stands. They look pretty neat. Okay, so that's Clan Ren. And Inferno Squad. There we are. Some more miniatures for the Star Wars Legion uh, tactical miniatures game. We do have the base game for sale on meeples.ca, but we don't regularly stock uh, all the pieces, but we do uh, take pre-orders for them. These were pre-ordered months ago. 
and these customers that are ordering these have pre-orders for uh, more that are coming out in a few more months. So if you're you know, a Legion fan and you want access to these things and you want them in a timely way, uh, these are getting released uh, this week. So um, yeah, you'll, you'll get, you can, even though we're not stocking them, you can still um, get them uh, as soon as possible ordering from us. Just let us know that you're interested in them. Next up, we have a restock of the Doctor Heroes, or Doctor Heroes, Doctor Strange Hero Pack uh, from Marvel Champions. We, I think we only had one left. So here's a restock of a number of those. That has a 40 card Doctor Strange Hero Pack and uh, some other cards for other decks and a Nemesis set. And as does this Hulk pack that we just restocked because we were low on this one as well. And uh, there you go. So again, one pre-built 40 card um, Hulk deck, 30 new cards to be added to any other hero deck and a Nemesis set. Nemesis set, in this case, the Curse Abominate, no, sorry, the Cruel Abomination. Kind of hard to read it upside down, sorry. It's actually uh, five of these ones. Uh, we also have uh, restock. Oh, I got all this cardboard junk all over me here. Here we go. The Green Goblin Scenario Pack for Marvel Champions, a card game. So um, this scenario pack here has 78 brand new cards with two scenarios and four modular encounter sets. In one scenario, take down Norman Osborn before he uses Stark technology to manufacture powerful weaponry. In the other scenario, stop the Green Goblin and his Goblin army from overrunning New York City. So you do need the base set, which we do have in stock here at meeples.ca to play with this. Uh, but that's the great thing about living card games is they keep on coming out with uh, new packs, uh, with new, new content so that this game can uh, have a lifetime of fun for you. Next up, we have some Black Panther Marvel Champions game mats. Pretty cool art on these. I don't think either of these are spoken for yet, so these will go up on the website. Next up, these are, um, this is a supplement pack for the Keyforge Secrets of the Crucible uh, source book for the Genesis role-playing game by Fantasy Flight Games. So let's see what it says here. All new content includes a play playable species, rules for Dark Amber, adventure builders, locations, and over 30 NPC adversaries. Uh, dark Amber spreads across the Crucible and with it a rise in mutation. Some rejoice in the changes while others see them as a heresy in a fight to eradicate Dark Amber and its effects. During the mutant invasion, which side of the conflict will you take? So, to go along with the uh, mutant, um, what was it called? Mutant, wow, man. I can't remember now. This is failing, my mind is failing me. It's been a long week. Uh, the, the latest Keyforge set, Mutant something. My goodness, I should know this. Anyway, there we go. This is not for the Keyforge card game. This is for the Keyforge role-playing game from the Genesis system. So you would need the uh, Secrets of the Crucible book, and probably the um, Genesis uh, Core rule book as well in order to play with this. Next up, we have Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, which is, I believe, a brand new um, Tiny Epic game by Scott Elmas, a game of dinosaur ranching, really? All right, so these Tiny Epic games are very popular, and even though they come in a tiny box, they are an epic game with a lot of fun. And so it says here, let's take a look what it says together. It says, in tiny epic dinosaurs, you are dino ranchers running large scale operations on a remote tropical island. Dinosaurs are bred and sold to the highest bidders for use in popular high thrill theme parks, but ranching these prehistoric beasts is hard and dangerous work. Do you have what it takes to go out ranch your opponents and operate the most successful dinosaur ranch? So it does say there's an easy entry to this game, low downtime. Now that's a nice thing. And it's always nice when they use meeples, isn't it? To Explain all of these things about games. We love meeples, obviously. Uh, high replayability in a small box. So, also, one thing that I noticed since I'm in the uh, sleeve market these days, I do like that it says right there what size sleeves you use if you're going to sleeve this game. So, I wish uh, all the publishers would do that. It would make our job a lot easier of sleeving these games when they come in. There you go. Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. Now available by uh, meeples.ca. 
Here we have a couple special ordered expansion packs for Unstable Unicorns, the Not Safe for Work expansion pack and the Dragons expansion pack. Uh, these were requested by a customer and um, they were in stock at our distributor, so we were able to get them within a week, which is nice. And uh, so they're just little packs of cards that you can add onto the Unstable Unicorns game, which we also have in stock. We also have the Not Safe for Work base set as well. So my guess is uh, this is to add some Not Safe for Work cards. Uh, well, actually, does it say? So I'm not sure if this is to be used with the normal base set or with the NSFW base set but I'm sure our customer knows who ordered it. So there we go, a couple of those, special order. There's a lot of special orders in the shipment. Boys and girls, you really should have a proper knife to open these up. Oh, and this is just more sleeves. Oh, it's not just more sleeves. So we will open this box. Ah, one way or another. There we go. Sorry about that. So we have a ton more sleeves. These are huge ones. I think these are for Mysterium and Dixit, these big ones. And then we have a restock of Fox and the Forest Duet, which is a cooperative trick-taking game for two players, which uh, we really, really enjoy and, and uh, played a whole bunch early on in the pandemic when it first came out. And uh, we have this in the cafe and uh, know that you're gonna enjoy this game as well when you get a chance to try it out, uh, either at the cafe or by buying your own copy at meeples.ca. Happy to have more of this. We sell quite a few of this actually. And that's because it's such a great game. Also hidden underneath sleeves is Quicks, a fast family card game. Uh, I have not played Quicks, but we had uh, somebody request this. I remember somebody requested this uh, in July, and I hadn't heard of it, and I thought, oh, well, you know, if people are asking for it, we should bring it in, and it took a while to get in. Uh, it was out of stock, but uh, now we have it. So this, um, actually, this copy might, might just go in our library. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'll see if I can get more. If I can get more, I'll... Um, I'll, uh, I'll get more, but this uh, copy might just go in our library. There's that extra copy of Undaunted Normandy that we spoke about earlier. So three copies in stock. We might put one of these in the, in the um, library as well, but we'll have at least two for sale, if not three. Of course, we have more sleeves. And uh, those sleeves are protecting a restock of current Tournament of Camelot. We got our first copies of this in our last shipment and they promptly sold out. So we brought a couple more in. So these will be available at meeples.ca. We actually have this in our library already. Uh, we've had this in our library uh, for a long, long time. It's a really, really fun trick-taking game with uh, Take That uh, mechanics. Uh, you are um, trying to win tricks. Actually, you're trying to not lose tricks, because if you do, then you take damage. Uh, these cards effectively, if you have to take them, they're, they're like damaged uh, to your hit points. And when somebody runs out of hit points, the game is over and whoever has the most hit points left wins. Uh, everybody has special roles. They give them special unique powers and that's really fun. And uh, yeah, uh, and it's also it plays six players, which is a really nice thing for a good game like this. So there you go, Tournament Camelot, back in stock. Divi Dice, another roll and write game. I don't know about Divi Dice. Um, I honestly don't know about this, but it says it plays great solo and with two players. And how many players does it play up to? It plays up to four players. It takes about 30 minutes to play. Uh, use your dice and opponent's re-rolls to complete unique combinations and score points from completed cards. Uh, so this is a, it's an engaging game of luck and strategy, it says. Uh, again, I have not played this. I don't know too much about it, uh, but I do remember that it was uh, featured recently uh, at, our, at our distributor. And when I read about it, I thought that sounds like a good game to bring in. I think we only have one. So usually when we bring in one copy of something like this, it's something I decided at the time belongs in our library. Uh, it might be for sale or it might just be in our library. But uh, yeah, it probably will be in our library.
That's probably why I ordered just one. Just One is another great game that's in our library. And then we have a restock of the River Folk expansion for Root. Uh, we were low on stock of that, and since we just restocked the base game, here's an extra copy of the River Folk expansion. Uh, this will be up on meeples.ca. Root and the River Folk expansion are available in our library. We don't put too many expansions in our library. Um, just uh, Most people just play base games when they come to board game cafes. But if you're gonna play Root, um, we figured, you know what, this is probably something you might be interested in playing, so we did keep the expansion, this expansion, in the library. We don't have the underground um, and clockwork in the library yet, uh, but um, uh, if you were to come here and you really wanted to play Root with the uh, underground expansion, I'm sure we could figure something out for you since we do have uh, copies of that in stock. Uh, the Riverfolk expansion includes the uh, Riverfolk Company the Lizard Cult, and a second Vagabond. So um, this is actually a really good expansion and when we play Root, we often play with uh, one or both of these uh, factions. They're both a heck of a lot of fun and add a lot of ni nice new stuff. And it's nice that there's some new uh, Vagabond, um, oh man, what are these called? Well, they're, like, they're basically character types for your Vagabond. I can't remember the name of it, it's been months now since I've been able to play this, unfortunately. Um, but uh, absolutely one of my favorite games is Root. And uh, yeah, this is a great expansion that again, we always play with. Also comes with the Mechanical Marquee, which lets you play this uh, cooperatively or competitively. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that is that. And then I think the rest of it is just sleeves in here. There's no more games hiding. Nope, so just the sleeves. And I think that is it. That is all the boxes for today. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, as again, as I said at the beginning of the video, we have our inspections uh, tomorrow and Friday. And assuming there aren't any major problems that we can't immediately rectify, that will mean that we'll be uh, hopefully getting our business license by the end of the week or early next week. And uh, chances are we are opening next week. We need a little bit more time uh, to get everything just right uh, make sure that uh, we have uh, practiced everything we have to practice and we're ready to go and perfect uh, enough, well, perfect enough anyway to open. Uh, probably won't be this weekend. Uh, even if we did get our business license on Friday, we want to just make sure everything is buttoned up real nice. So thanks for your patience as we get everything uh, ready to go. And uh, thanks again for watching this video. Please uh, remember to hit that uh, thumb up button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, the likes and the shares uh, really help uh, help us, uh, and um, that's great for everybody, I think. And uh, do share uh, the video with your friends and subscribe to our channel if you've been enjoying these videos. And if you hit that bell icon, then you'll get a notification every time a new video comes up. And uh, we will, from now on, basically be doing the videos here from the cafe. And uh, hopefully, uh, if not the next time in, uh, that we do a video, uh, very soon, We'll be able to show you uh, the whole the whole cafe. That'll be so exciting. It's been such a long time coming, uh, and uh, it's just uh, not quite ready to show yet. Um, but uh, we're really on the final stretch here, really really close. And uh, thanks again for your uh, patience and support. And we look forward to seeing you very very soon. Have a great night. Bye.